Welcome to Club Brandon Spotlight. We're now on episode eight. I'm here with my pal, Larry Podwell from iHeartRadio. Larry, we're CDC compliant. Great. For audio purposes, let's get rid of the mask. Take it off. Danny, great to see you. Episode eight. Episode eight, wow. live from the Rolls-Royce Palm Beach showroom this? at Brayman Motor Cars. Does not get any better than this. This is an outstanding showroom, it, it really sure is. is. Uh, Got a great show tonight. You remember those uh, little tiger cubs that were born? Ron Brooks and the gang, uh, they went back to the zoo and got some close-ups photos. Real love treat. It, You're going to love, love it. it. Love it. Understand that you were at a new hotel. Outstanding downtown, hotel. Uh, West mm -hmm. Palm Beach. Look forward to seeing that. And you were with Brian Mudd, the famous yeah. Brian Mudd, seen on 400-plus radio stations around Brian the country. Brian Mudd, News Radio 1290, JNO, joined us for a segment. And uh, one of your favorite features each week, the mm -hmm. flashback. We're ah. going to go back to a pre-pandemic uh, drive Shack. Well, you know what? Let's just get right members. with it, okay? Tiger Cubs born this past May. Uh, they're just incredible. You remember them, uh, right? They're adorable. You know, first time we saw them, eyes closed, little balls of fur. Now they just celebrated their four month birthday and uh, love them. Gonna You're going to love them. this video. Ron Brooks, Joseph Caruso, and Mark Valdez went over to the Palm Beach Zoo. How about and that? they recorded this. And I'm surprised that they didn't get chewed up by these little things. <laughs> or mama. <laughs> Let's roll that tape right now. Wow. <laughs> is that adorable? That one little tiger cub was, was trying to take down that branch. <laughs> They're incredible. And you know, <laughs> it's such a great thing that the Palm Beach Zoo does. Sure is. It, it's uh, a, an enormous achievement to be able yeah. to uh, breed no. those. And we're those following cubs. Their, uh, their childhood. You got it's it. Great. You got it. We'll send the boys back next month and uh, see if we get some more updated videography. Great. 
At the end of the show, we'll tell you how to win one of 20 prizes from Brayman Motor Cars. So I understand, Danny, you visited a brand new hotel. Outstanding West downtown West Palm Beach. You know the reason why you didn't go? No food. <laughs> they have restaurants, but I didn't go for lunch. <laughs> How apropos. Listen, I didn't the, get the assignment. The views are great. You got to see this place. Let's roll that video Look from the to Ben this. Hotel. Welcome to another edition of Club Raymond Spotlight. I am at this absolutely gorgeous hotel in downtown West Palm Beach called the Ben. I'm here with Tom Stewart, their marketing manager, and Tom and I have already discussed this. This is a uh, coronavirus uh, must-have mass on location, but because we are CDC guideline friendly here, we've gotten permission to basically take our masks off. So Absolutely. can we do that? Fabulous. So that's what he looks like without the mask. <laughs> so Tom, I walked in here, first of all, it's my first time here. I walked in here and I was incredibly shocked and surprised in such a fabulous way. This, this place is incredible. It is, it is. We're Tell very us about it. pleased with the design of the hotel. Um, we were, it's the, the founding method of autograph hotels is you have to find something unique about the area that it's in. So um, designers started on this hotel several years ago and trying to find a story that made sense for West Palm Beach. And so with us, we're called the Ben, named after the original Ben Travato estate that actually was here in the late 1800s. So there's a lot of history that pulls in from that. Um, this couple, Bird and Fred Dewey, um, okay. came in from the Midwest, came down um, for better weather, health reasons, and they owned this home, the Ben Travato, and they actually were hosts and hostesses of dignitaries like the Vanderbilts and the, um, uh, you know, uh, Woodrow Wilson stayed in their home. So they're, in a way, they were kind of like pioneers in lodging, which made sense for us. And so as they designed the hotel, they kind of pulled in things about this woman, uh -huh. Bird Dewey. And she was an author, um, so we okay. pulled a lot of features like that. And as you go through the hotel, you'll see a lot of um, replications and things that will pull in her life story that is something that a lot of Palm Beach people didn't know about mm -hmm. that now we're probably putting out there. So this library that's behind me, are there books from her collection there? It is not, but what they did is they repurposed books, so books that uh, traditionally would be disposed of. They actually went um, and repurposed it and turned it into artwork. Very cool, yeah. very cool. So uh, what's the capacity of those, Del? What's... We have 208 guest rooms, uh -huh. um, and 12 of those are suites. Um, 68 rooms face the front, which actually have um, balconies. Okay. So one of the premier things about the property is we are um, sitting right by the um, Palm Harbor Marina. So we have this amazing view of some of the you know, most expensive yachts in the area. And then we also can see out to the Palm Beach Island as well as the Atlantic Ocean. One thing that is striking is the detail work of the walls, the columns, it just everything is, is like everything was just thought out to the absolute. To the absolute. The designer is um, EOA, which is out of Miami, and uh, we had the fortunate opportunity to have them come and explain the property to us. And everything in here is to take a little mix of the luxury side of Palm Beach, so the, just the different tapestries and textures you feel, and then the roughness of how things were in Florida when, when in those early days. So you'll see like a lot of natural concrete, mm -hmm. polished floors. There's over $3 million in millwork, woodwork, wow. in the hotel, just to kind of replicate that, that early stage of Florida. Congratulations, fabulous place. Thank I you. hear the restaurants are fabulous. We do, we have two excellent um, venues for you to dine in. Um, our first floor restaurant is Proper Grit. Mm -hmm. uh, Proper Grit is named after um, almost that same concept of having the grittiness of early Florida, the pioneer stage, and the properness of how we like food served. So what's the food so like? What, what's the food the... is there, it's a Florida chop house okay. by design. Um, so you have everything, we do breakfast, lunch, dinner. Um, dinner, you're gonna see everything from steaks and chops and great seafood dishes. Um, but we've got great sandwiches during the day and a great um, breakfast in the morning as well. So what is the, uh, the, the population that you cater to? Are they tourists, locals, both? Uh, a little bit of a mix. We are a destination property for weddings and corporate groups. So for meetings and events, um, we have just under 8,000 square feet of event space. Okay. So that brings a lot of groups into the hotel. Um, we also get a lot of staycations and a lot of travel from uh, Miami, Fort Lauderdale, Orlando, Atlanta. Uh, people coming in that are just looking for a weekend in Palm Beach that now have found this downtown option that's a block away from Clematis, which is a huge highlight for us. So when they come, you have a concierge here? We do. We have uh, what's called the Hostess of Luminary Experiences. Uh -huh. And that is really to kind of fit the, the autograph um, kind of premise is that it's, it needs to give you an experience, not just a guest stay. 
So um, the, the tagline for Autograph Brands as a, as a company is exactly like nothing else. So we really feel like if you stay at the bend, it's going to be a stay exactly so like So give me an else. example of one of these experiences. Um, we do, we have an all-inclusive, um, which is where we actually kind of pioneer that off of the cruise lines where you come and you pay one fee, but everything's included. So your cocktails are included, breakfast, lunch, dinner's included. Um, you get a cabana up next to the pool. Mm -hmm. um, so it's just the experience that most hotels aren't able to kind of package that like that. And it's a very curated event. Um, the hostess is seeing you all the way through, making sure that we're making that stay the way you want it to be. While we're on the subject of pools, this is an absolute gorgeous layout. Tell us about it. We do. We have an amazing pool deck. It is on the eighth floor, so the, the building is eight stories tall. Um, the pool deck looks perfect view of the Palm Beach Island and the ocean. Um, it is um, housed with eight um, cabanas, so you have eight private cabanas. That actually, you can do um, dinner, breakfast, anything out there. Um, during the day, it's very much of a relaxation area, very zen. We play the right musics and really about having people just to come and relax. And then the evening, we kind of turn up a notch and the food takes a little different turn. The music takes a little bit different turn to kind of make it a little bit more club environment. So when you say music, is it piped in music, live music? It is a very curated um, soundtrack that were actually picked for this property. So they looked at different music that they thought would represent the Ben Traveler okay. and what they look for. And so, um, so again, like the music here in the in the lobby, you'll hear sometime like a bossa nova, but then upstairs, Spruzzo, the restaurant there is Mediterranean inspired. So the music, you're gonna hear like a little bit different vibe of the music upstairs and downstairs. You know what I did notice about the music is that this stereo system is to die for. Incredible, it, yeah. It, it's, it's in the background, but yet we could converse, we can talk, and it, it, it's not obnoxious as Absolutely. a volume. But it's, I think the unique thing is the fact that, um, but everything was handpicked. And so as you mentioned, like the interior, so much detail, in the interior and, and thought process between everything everything in the hotel you see is the same in the music. Um, so everything that we try to bring in here is to hopefully give that guest experience that they didn't see someplace else or maybe heard someplace else. So for those uh, that are watching that don't exactly know where the location is, it is the original, I believe, the um, uh, the city seat or... Uh, Absolutely. So we're the, the history part of that is that we are the original site of City Hall, city um, hall. in downtown. So when they moved City Hall years ago, the lot is set empty, which, you know, it's prime real estate, again, with the view that we have and being across from the marina. So one of the caveats, I think, for us is when people come to visit, they just, they love the location we're in. And speaking of visiting, you come here, drive here all the time with your Bremen automobile. What I is do. it? I I'm, do. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> I, I, had a, um, I had a five series um, about five years ago uh -huh. and, um, and left the area, went north, and um, just moved back um, to West Palm last July. Okay. And, Welcome back. Um, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. And then just... Um, just last month, I had a great experience in Bremen, and I bought a 5 Series. Five, Fabulous. 530i. Congratulations. So, How do you like it? Thank you. I love it. Love Good. it. Great car. Great experience? Great experience. I have to say, you know, car buying sometimes is not the best experience for some people. Bremen was amazing. I walked out of there. I felt like I walked away with, like, five new friends. Well, we succeeded. So you did, absolutely. <laughs> new Club Raymond member and Club Raymond members out there, there is a special announcement for discounts if you come here. What are they? We actually have a VIP program um, for select accounts, and so we've set up all um, Club Raymond members that there is a link that they can go to and they actually get this VIP rate. Um, so it's just a great way to come down and enjoy a staycation in the area. Or if you're having a business meeting, you also get 10% off um, of an event if you're going to have here. Um, I'm the director of sales, so I, I'd be more than glad to work with anybody. Tom, it's been a pleasure. Congratulations, The Ben Fabulous Hotel. Absolutely. Thank you. Thanks for the opportunity today, and we appreciate you being here. And again, great buying experience from Bremen, so I can't thank them enough. From one Club Bremen member to all Club Bremen members, The Ben, VIP, you're all VIPs. On location, Danny Bayard for Club Bremen Spotlight. Classy. Exactly like nothing else. I love that quote. No kidding. I'm, I'm going to tell you something. Fabulous place, yeah. all right? Whoever wins this prize is going to have a great time because... Oh. This week's prize is uh, from looked, the Ben Hotel. Looks spectacular. So. I understand that you were interviewing one of your coworkers over yeah. at iHeartRadio. My buddy from iHeart, colleague of mine, friend, News Radio 1290 WJNO, the host of the Morning Rush, Brian Mudd. Can't wait to see this. Hey, let's roll Brian Mudd and Larry Podwell. You're going to like it. Mask on, mask off. We're CDC compliance here, so. And you can't tell you're smiling when you have the mask on. You it's ever realize hidden. that? It's a complete difference. Uh, <laughs> very, very special guest today, Larry Podwell, Club Raymond Spotlights. We're here in the prep area in the beautiful Porsche West Palm Beach. Very dear friend, 
colleague from iHeart, host of WJNO's Morning Rush. Thrilled to have you here, Brian Mudd. It's a pleasure, and actually I spend a fair amount of time here anyway, so it's just another great excuse to come to uh, Porsche by Bremen. And, uh, you know, the, the, the cars, the experience here, it's, it's always fun. This room is fun because they make a lot of good memories here. It's amazing. We've been here on several occasions. Yeah. The, uh, the grand opening event a couple years ago, uh, second to none, and we'll be back with the big events again. We spun out the spotlight just to keep our members engaged. You, above and beyond all the other accoutrements, which we'll, we'll get to, the Mud Trifecta. <laughs> Brian Mud, his charming wife Ashley, mother-in-law, all drive Bremen vehicles. Yeah, uh, absolutely. And I mean, once you have the Bremen experience, it makes sense. And once you get behind the wheel of a Porsche, well, you, you never want to drive anything else. So yeah. you put the two together and it just, it's... So you're on your second Porsche now. Uh, yes, second for me. Um, my wife, Ashley, she has a Cayenne. I have a Cayman Boxster. Uh, and uh, the, we, we have our, our eyes on another one, a, a new addition to the family, the not so distant. Got a variety of salespeople right out there that will beckon, <laughs> get you whatever you want right now. I have no doubt. Uh, how about the showroom? Is this amazing? Oh, it's spectacular. You know, you, you talk about walking through, like the Porsche experience. You ever been to it in Atlanta? Uh, at the track there, the track. it's an amazing experience. I love it. Um, and you, you come here and you feel like walking around this showroom and you're getting the same kind of experience. And uh, as we're progressing through this yeah. COVID-19, CDC compliance, feel comfortable to come into the showrooms. Uh, it's, it's, it's really a second to none. Well, Larry, let me talk about that for a moment too, because Something that um, you, you might not realize with Brayman is they have t taken such great care and, and customer service is always exceptional. For example, anytime we need service, drop the vehicle off and we have a loaner that's as good or better and it's always that way. However, during COVID and, and right from the word go, when we needed service, they would come out to us. And so Basically. we would have somebody from Brayman um, you know, say, okay, well, would you like to bring to us or would you like to, uh, would you like us to come to you? And my wife in particular, she's at risk. Mm -hmm. And we, with her vehicle, uh, said, well, why don't you come out? Well, they came out and ended up bringing her a vehicle, took great care of hers, came back, beautiful spotless as always, because of course they always, uh, you know, do such a great job maintaining, sure. washing the vehicles along with the service. And so it's a seamless experience. So even if you're, you have somebody in your house, maybe you and you're a little bit concerned, they can take care of you. I mean, they'll deliver new vehicles right to your door for that matter. It's been amazing how we've evolved now. We're, we're month six, six into this and uh, just the, the protocols and everything. Uh, maneuvering along the way, but uh, you know, these guys, it's just a, an operation that I've never seen before. The partnership that we've had with iHeart and Brayman, Danny Bayard, Steve Grossman, second to none. And again, trying to keep everybody engaged now till we get back to our events. Uh, it's been very well received, and again, we're just thrilled to have you here. Oh, it, it's a, a pleasure to be here. You do a show in West Palm Beach, News Radio yep. 1290, JNO. Also a show airs afterwards in Miami, and then you fill in for Rush, uh, I'm, I'm saying Rush, Mark Levin, uh, the great one. We have our great one here. So you had another I trifecta this week with it. One. You, you have the ah, great, I'm five foot six and 149. I'm the diminutive one. Now, uh, I, I like to say, Larry, and, and I appreciate it, I, I live on the periphery of people far more impressive than myself. Uh, so, for example, you know, you, like you have cogs in a wheel. I'm always the least significant cog, but it's kind of cool to be a cog uh, in the wheel for sure. He's very modest. Uh, the, the Mark Levin Radio Network is on how many stations around the country? 425. Okay, so uh, Monday night you were on 425 stations, so uh, not diminutive at all. And uh, one of the uh, most credible uh, personalities in this market, news, uh, 
What's going on now? We got an election coming up in 60 days? Yeah, you might have heard something about it. <laughs> but that's it. He's a resident. We're, we're, we're talking about under two months away, and he yeah. is. He, the, the president is a resident, obviously, for the first time, uh, and will be voting. And you interviewed him within the past few months? Uh, sure enough. So, I mean, well, and, and this is one of the things. I'll, I'll share a quick story about uh, the president for a moment. So most of my experience with Donald Trump comes prior to him being involved in politics. First time, actually, uh, I had an experience with him. He ended up cutting some material for us uh, back during uh, the 2006 hurricane season. And so, wow. Yeah, I just came in and <laughs> said, uh, I had an opportunity. I was talking to him um, and I said, hey, do me a favor and just record some of these things. And he did. And so we kind of forged a relationship a little bit that way. And he listens. Uh, he has listened to the morning show on WJNO and has heard me for a number of years when he had been around. And um, I, I had an opportunity on, on a few different occasions to have lunch with them and that type of thing. We've been lucky so far in regards to hurricane season. You're picking up a notch <laughs> during this time of year as well. You and your partner, Joel Malkin, a phenomenal yeah. job. Uh, if electricity goes out, you know, everybody tunes into JNO. We partner with uh, several other TV stations in the market. So a credible voice for information. We've got another, what, two full months to go with that. So hopefully, uh, September like some more activity in the uh, coming off of the African coast. I always keep my eye on September 10th. It's absolute peak hurricane season. And That's... Irma, incidentally, I ended up coming our way September 10th back in 2017. But yeah, um, we do peak hurricane season the last two weeks of August, first two weeks of September. But yeah. once you get back past September 10th, uh, historically, the activity begins to go the other way very quickly. So on that day, to me, I'm like, okay, let's get Good. to the other side. Right. Obviously, we've had things like Wilma that have come in October, but well. Several. Keep the fingers crossed. Yeah, for sure. It's been an interesting ride. We're uh, six months in. What are your thoughts in regards to when is this going to stop? Will it stop? Is this the new norm? It's going to change? Vaccine? What, what do we... There are several things I take a look at. I mean, I'm always, I'm a pragmatist. I'm driven by information and facts. And uh, I always say two sides of stories, one side of facts. And uh, if the premise of anything is false, anything built on it is too. So this was all new. We've learned a lot over the course of time. You have things like uh, from the onset that were misleading. We were told at the onset, oh, mask, they really aren't effective. Mm -hmm. Well, we, we found out very quickly that was probably just to make sure that there were enough for first responders and we were kind of being right. duped. There are other things that have turned out to be true, right, which is people with pre-existing conditions, this is that big of a deal. So yes. you know, if you take a look at the CDC information that we received recently, really what it told us is if you do not have pre-existing conditions, if you're not in that at-risk category, then th this really isn't that big of a deal. However, if you are in that at-risk category, this is much worse than viruses that we're accustomed to like the flu. And so that's where it's the feast or famine kind of thing. So, you know, from a point of practicality, uh, you know, obviously we need to be serious and it's two and a half times more contagious than the traditional flu. Um, but we're very close to treatment options and the vaccines. And I think that's what a lot of people are looking for. But where I come from, just in a, in a point of taking information and running with it, we have numerous studies at this point that show that masks and social distancing are more effective than lockdowns. Phase two will begin uh, next week. So hopefully Phase we're going in the right direction. Phase two ish. Ish. Yeah. So you, you <laughs> can have movie theaters open. You can get your tattoo. I'm, you could bowl. You know what? I'm trying to quit the tattoo thing. You I mean, can go you... to a movie, <laughs> but again, can I go to a bar? I'm yeah, yeah two-ish. Well, but you can go to a bar, but only if that bar is inside of a restaurant. If the bar is a bar, then the bar, the virus finds that bar and it's bad. Yeah. But if you have food yeah. and you have bar, then the virus stays away from the bar and you go to the bar. Yeah, yeah, Makes sense. So the bag of Cuomo chips, <laughs> you know. Unreal. This is what happens when you Just have move the goalpost. Yes, this is what happens when you have <laughs> uh, officials that make it up as they go. So. Unreal, yeah. unreal. Uh, let's uh, let's just hope that things get better. Yeah, uh, they are. We're getting there. It's been a crazy year. We'll continue to be. We'd love to get some normalcy back. But if you want normalcy, come on out to Club Raymond, Raymond Motor Cars. No, it happened to be Porsche today. I have to correct you. If you want normalcy, no. If you want something oh, extraordinary. Well, uh, it's our if normalcy. You want, if you want something extraordinary, you, know, you, you come here. This is something else. Yeah. That's about it. Brian Mudd, thank you. This was great. And, uh, Pleasure. You know, you guys just uh, be safe and take care, and uh, we'll see you soon. Porsches and politics. That was a great segment. Sure was. I'll tell you what, we're going to be going into your favorite segment, 
Club Raymond flashback. I uh, love it. Right after this. What are you waiting for? It's the year-end sales event at Brayman Motor Cars. Save thousands on 1,000 vehicles located on seven indoor floors. Choose from BMW, Mini, Porsche, and pre-owned cars from economy to exotic. Enjoy exceptional offers with Minis from $199 a month and BMWs from $349. The year-end sales event. Come in or buy online at BraymanMotorCars.com. Brayman Motor Cars. We deliver. Larry, it's that time of the show. I got a special surprise for you. Club Raymond flashback. You mean Drive Shack? How do you know? I, I didn't get the white glove, but I got a little... From who? Ron might have spilled the beans. Wait a minute. Ron gives you inside things, uh, restaurant assignments. You got to be kidding me. Again, Danny, come holiday time, I put a little something in his <laughs> stocking. I suggest that you should too. Thanks. Club Raymond flashback. Here it goes. <laughs> At the drive shaft. Drive shaft. What an event. Great event. Flashback back to December of 2019, Danny. Uh, shortly after the grand opening of Drive Shack, Club Raymond members had a blast that night. Great time. It sure was. There'll be plenty more to come. Visit clubraymond.com to take the easy three-question quiz about this show to win one of 20 prizes. Great show tonight, Larry. Sure was, Danny. And we've got another great show coming up. We're going to stick to the golf theme. Uh, went up to Jupiter. There's a tie-in with King Arthur and golf. That's going to be interesting. You guys need to see in the next show. And I understand that you got assigned another restaurant to review. Uh, Ron pulled me aside the other day. Said, "Look, you know, don't say anything about it, but uh, we've got something special coming up." And what else? And one of your favorites. Another great flashback from pre-pandemic, which. We're going to get back to that as soon as we can. This time, I'm going to tell Ron to keep it a secret from you. <laughs> Club Raymond members, thanks for tuning in to another edition of Club Raymond Spotlight. Love you, and don't forget to take the quiz. We'll see you soon.